Before we start the video, just a quick reminder that I do have a Discord server, so if you haven't yet, please join it. We can chat there, and also it's a good way for me to communicate with you in case something bad happens to the channel. If you're interested, the link to it is in the description. Yo, what's up guys, it's World of War 469 and welcome to a new Ninjago video. Also, this is the third time I say it today, but happy Easter for anyone celebrating it. Season 15, episode 2, The Call of the Deep, aired in English today, so I thought I'd make a quick review. I'll say my thoughts, the pros and cons, and ultimately, how I would rate the episode on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being the best. Got it? Cool. Let's get started. Also, spoilers. Duh. This episode is great because it establishes the relationship between Nia and Maya, as well as introduces a couple major plot points which will likely pay off later in the season, like the Pulse. First, Maya reminds me so much of me. I've heard that some people do not like her personality, but I'm admittedly a perfectionist most of the time and I could relate a lot to her. I will say though, poor Nia, because she got the seaweed treatment while Kai was pleased with his bacon sandwich. I liked the season 13 reference when Maya told Nia, breathe in and out. Not like a Mino deer. Like I said in the last episode review, gotta appreciate those callbacks. Third, I felt jealous in the scene where Kai and Rei were playing Prime Empire, and this is because of Vincent Tong. He voices both these characters, so golly, it must have been a lot of fun to converse with himself. Fourth, the water rescue reveal scene was meh. I'm not surprised that Cole and Lloyd kept the mission away from Nia since we know that she was impatient in these first two episodes. Fifth, I was happy about the return of the big samurai X-Mech and Zane's Shurikopter from season 11. Like I have said before, I appreciate seeing these old vehicles since getting new ones every season gets repetitive. Sixth, the pulse was introduced well. Gotta love the water flipping out by the monastery. After Zane and Pixel were freed from the water, I found it incredibly relatable when Pixel said their vehicles needed better pressurization. Eighth, I was happy about the Misako cameo, but thanks to the commercial we got today, we now know that she will at least have a supporting role. Glad to see her in this episode anyways. I found it funny when she called Kai a grown man, but then he was acting like a kid in the next scene. Talk about irony. And finally, there was a nice prelude for the next episodes with the introductions of the Tartarus Trench, the Hydra Bounty, and Wu's motivational dialogue that they were going diving. That's it for pros, unfortunately, but in general, there were lots of great things in this episode. Despite the good stuff, there are some nitpicks I have for this episode. First, Nia continued complaining, saying that the issue with misdemeanor was a one-time mistake. After saying it so many times last episode, it got annoying to hear it again, but I do understand that that was due to her impatience. The second and final con I have to mention is that the fight scene with the octopus was very slow, especially when Pixel was underwater. Truthfully, I agree with some other comments I have heard that the fight was boring and we have to recognize that the scene comprises a big chunk of the episode. Not happy about these things, but well, that's it for cons. Overall, if I had to rate the episode, I would give it a 7 out of 10. It does well at further establishing Nia's relationship with her mother, as well as introduces details that will pay off in future episodes. But apart from a small Nia nitpick, like I stated before, the fight scene over the ocean felt boring and slow. That's all I have to say. What are your thoughts on Season 15, Episode 2? Please let me know in the comments. Stay tuned for the next two episodes releasing next Sunday. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.